The first thing I want to talk about is Breonna Taylor. Now, we were all very devastated to learn about the killing of Ahmaud Arbery by the McMichael murderers, right? But lo and behold, there was another police-involved shooting, another incident of a Black life being snatched far too soon. And this one was like right under our nose and we had no idea that, well, a lot of us, you know, unless you were in the city, we had no idea that it actually happened. Breonna Taylor, 26 years old, aspiring nurse, what is it called? Like decorated, a decorated EMT. She is out here on the front lines, saving lives every day, only to be killed by the police. Now, let me tell you what actually happened for those of you who may not have had opportunity to read the story. Brianna was at home. It was about one o'clock in the morning. Plain clothes police officers, and I need y'all to listen very carefully to what I say. Plain clothes police officers serving a warrant, looking for a drug dealer, looking for drugs. They were serving a warrant. Plain clothes officers, no knock warrant. Now I know some of y'all may not had, have had the privilege of living in the hood or had, having circumstances in your life where you experience a no knock warrant. But basically they do not have to knock on your door to say, you know, usually it's that boom, 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 boom. And you'd be like, who is it? And they'd be like, police. And then you'd be like, what y'all want? And they'd be like, let us in. You know, usually I'm, I'm not speaking from experience. A friend told me no knock warrant. They don't have to do that. Plain clothes officers, they are not in uniform. So imagine it's one o'clock in the morning and you minding your black ass business and you are in your house with your family. And all of a sudden you hear your front door opening or your back door opening and you see bodies moving in your house. What are you going to do? Instinctively, you are going to protect your family at all costs, right or wrong. So Brianna's boyfriend, Kenneth, he got the strap. Now, mind you, details matter. Kenneth is a licensed gun owner. He not out here with a burner. He ain't out here with something that he done got from his homeboys on the block. Somebody done passed off, passed off, got a few bodies on it, scratched the serial number off. I'm just, somebody told me. Somebody told me about that. I don't know from experience. Somebody told me. But no, he is a licensed gun owner. He did everything the right way. He hears someone in his house where his woman is, his lady is. There's a five-year-old child in the house. There's another pregnant woman in the house. He did what a man is supposed to do and he protected his family. He got the strap and he let off. The police returned 20 rounds of ammunition, y'all. 20 rounds of ammunition. They shot Brianna eight times. Eight times they shot Brianna. Eight times, 26 years old. I have a 28 year old son. That could have easily been my baby. They shot this girl eight times. And then to add insult to injury. No, let me back up. Let me back up. Let me back up. After the police let off. At this time, Kenneth still don't know it's the police in his house firing rounds like he's in Iraq. He makes it to the phone and calls Brianna's mom. And he called her and he was like, somebody breaking in our house. I think they shot Brianna. Y'all, he called her mom. Mama. Imagine being her mama getting that call in the middle of the night. He called her mama. This ain't no just wild ass dude off the street. His first thought was to call his future mother-in-law to let her know somebody done broke in the house and he think they shot Brianna. So the police let off. Kenneth, you know, Kenneth let off, police let off. They killed Brianna. Do y'all know they locked Dennis up? I mean, Kenneth, I'm sorry. I don't know where Dennis came from. Do y'all know they locked Kenneth up and charged him with first, I think it's first degree attempted murder of an officer an aggravated assault. Are y'all freaking kidding me? Why the stand your ground law don't work now? Is it that the stand your ground law is not for people with melanin or pigment to people? So if you come in a man's house, don't announce yourself. You're a plain clothes officer, which means you do not have on a uniform. This man thinks you're breaking in his house one o'clock in the morning. He grabbed his gun to protect his family. He is a licensed gun owner and y'all arrest him. Y'all arrest him and charge him, case him up. Y'all charged him and cased him up after killing his lady in her house. But y'all, I ain't even get to the, I'm, I'm gonna try not to cuss tonight. I ain't even get to the full, the Tom, Tom foolery and shenaniganous part of all this foolishness. They was at the wrong house. They were at the wrong house, y'all. They were at the wrong house. They ran up in this girl's house and killed her, arrested her man. They firing 20 rounds in a house that got a five-year-old child in there and a pregnant woman, but they was in the wrong house. Like it's so hard not to lose your mind and scream and just 
scream bloody murder. They were in the wrong house and the dude that they were looking for was already in custody. Y'all got to stop playing with me. Y'all got to stop playing with me. Y'all looking for somebody who already in custody? Y'all, the left hand don't even know what the right hand doing. I know the police, some, it's some good police out there, but I know it is a whole heap of sorry ass police officers and those sorry ass officers made their way into Breonna Taylor's house back in March. Y'all looking for somebody who already in custody killed this girl, someone who was of service to her community, someone who had a heart of gold, someone who was aspiring to take care of others, who was already taking care of others as an EMT. Y'all killed her, locked up her man. Y'all was at the wrong damn house looking for a mofo that was already in custody. Stop playing with me. And none of the officers have been charged. Not one. That happened in March. None of the officers have been charged. None. Not there. Nobody. Nothing. Nobody. I probably should have took my blood pressure pill before I got started tonight. Because I know my family upstairs is probably wondering what the hell I'm down here yelling about. It li it makes no logical sense whatsoever. How are we supposed to make sense of this? How are we supposed to get past this? How are we supposed to... No! Brianna's mama didn't, shouldn't have had to bury her child. And nobody is held accountable? What What, what is administrative duty? Oh, y'all just gone sit down somewhere till the block stopped being hot. So I read today that the governor has called for somebody to do something or other. All right, but y'all be crooked as the letter S from the top down. So I don't trust none of this. And with all due respect, the most, most, most respect that I could possibly give to Mr. Attorney Benjamin Crump. I know y'all that we only have a handful of civil rights attorneys that represent our families or they may do it, you know, free of charge or they may step up when we need them the most. But with all due respect, I'm just saying I've met Mr. Benjamin Crump. I think he is an awesome man. He has a heart of gold. He puts his best effort in, but his win record ain't looking so great. His, his win record ain't. Nah, we need, yo, somebody, please go dig up Johnny Cochran. Like we need somebody that's going to truly get some straightening around here. And then you wonder why we holler Black Lives Matter and be ready to choke the piss out of anybody who want to tell us all lives matter. Well, show me where all lives actually matter.